Okay, guys, we here in this paradise, Hanauma Bay. We have this tree right here. You draw some, you know, shed. Jolie is here with little ants. You enjoying the beach? You're filming it. I thought you were Yeah, I'm filming. Okay, guys, I forgot to say. Do we get in the beach? Like I say, we need to watch this video. This video is going to show you exactly how you can, you know, go inside, you know, touch the corals. And stuff like that. going to teach you everything. You pay $7.50 for person. Shieldings with 12 under is free. So me and Bruno pay. Jolie, she's still 12, so she don't need to pay for. We enjoyed this day. It was nice. We see a lot of things. You guys going to love it. Hope you guys watch to the end. Formed within a volcanic cone, today Hanauma Bay offers a pristine marine ecosystem after the city and county of Honolulu laid out a plan in 1990s to restore the curved bay after years of neglect and abuse from the millions of visitors who visit and love to snorkel Hanauma Bay. Volunteers have a booth located on the beach level to help visitors learn about conservation of the reef and the types of fish that live there. Hanauma Bay has long been one of the islands of Oahu's jewels. Native Hawaiians have been enjoying life in the bay for thousands of years. The beach and surrounding natural park get their name from two Hawaiian words, Hana, which means bay, and Uma, which means curved. To the Hawaiians, Hanauma Bay has long been part of the history. In fact, there are many legends about how the curved bay got its name. The bay was historically an excellent area for fishing. Records show that the Hawaiian royalty in the 1800s often stayed at the bay for entertainment and fishing. Development of the Hanauma Bay area began at the turn of the century with a few dirty roads. Paved roads arrived in 1931 along with modest bathroom facilities and a guide rail for the steep passageway down to the base of the crater wall. After World War II, Hanauma Bay became a hot tourist spot and suffered from overuse throughout the next few decades. It was declared a protected marine life conservation area and underwater park in 1967, but in the 1990s, measures were taken to start preserving the area and reducing the impact of visitors. In 2002, a marine education center was opened for visitors and part of the conservation plan requires first-time visitors to watch a nine-minute video before entering the park so they can learn about the marine life, preservation and safety rules for the park. All visitors are required by law to refrain from mistreating the marine animals and from touching or walking on the coral. In the early 2000s, the natural spa called Toilet Bowl, because of the rise and fall of the water with the waves, was closed due to visitor injuries and safety concerns. Today, Hanauma Bay sees on average 3,000 visitors a day and approximately 1 million visitors per year. In making it to the top three destinations on Oahu, today it limits visitors and focuses on educating tourists on the natural wildlife of the area. The vast majority of these are tourists, but the locals here on Oahu love this beach as well, and many of them visit it daily. Snorkeling in Hanauma Bay is so popular because of the wide variety of species in the bay. In addition to the turtles, snorkelers can take a peek at the state fish of Hawaii, yellow tanks, trumpet fish, and angel fish. About 400 species of fish are known to inhabit the bay. And if you ever plan to visit Hawaii, make sure to stop by Hanauma Bay and enjoy the amazing beaches, views, and wildlife. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure. I want to say thank you for everybody to watch to the end. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the button right here and subscribe and turn on the notifications. Give us a like if you like the video. All right. Hope you see you guys in the next adventure. Thank you. Bye bye.